everybody. Well, this has been an interesting week. Um, <laughs> more things that I can count that I can tell you about for the week. Uh, some major things going on, but uh, probably the major thing that's on my mind this week is that uh, earlier this week, uh, my uncle, my uh, my mom's one of one of my mom's brothers, uh, passed away on Tuesday. And we had a memorial service for him uh, here locally on Friday. And then he was uh, going today, Saturday. They were taking him back to his home, uh, hometown, home area for the actual burial. But um, it was interesting. It's not an uncle that I knew very well, um, really not at all, until he moved in uh, with my mother. Uh, they're both getting up there in age. And... Um, she was kind of needing some help and and he's been sick and needing some help so the two living together actually kind of helped them out but uh, so I got to know him a little bit uh, over the past couple of years and not as well as I could have or should have um, but nevertheless uh, was at his memorial service on on Friday and um, I really didn't have any idea how I was how I was going to react at the memorial service it's been a while since I've been to any funeral at all um, and and even longer since I've been uh, to one involving someone in, in uh, that closely in my family. Um, uh, but as I was sitting there uh, waiting for the service to start, um, as we were, as my my actually my sister was playing the piano for the uh, kind of the uh, the intro music, and she was playing some hymns and some that I haven't I haven't listened to or. Or remembered in a while, and one of them brought to mind a uh, a scripture passage where Jesus was talking about worry and why we worry about the things that we need. Why do we worry about uh, food? Why do we worry about our clothing? And he's specifically talking to those of us um, who who are followers of Christ, and that our main priority is doing that and spreading the good news of Jesus Christ uh, to the world that God through Jesus is promising to take care of us and uh, uh, basically what Jesus said was look around you look even at uh, the birds the sparrows the small birds uh, how that they don't plant crops they don't harvest crops they don't have barns to store up things in and yet God takes care of them he makes sure that they're fed um, and then Jesus says something interesting you know aren't you much more important don't or just say don't you think that you're much more important to me than even the birds and in that in that passage in Matthew chapter 6 um, the last part of the chapter, the whole section there is talking about worrying. You know, why why do you worry to the point of of uh, inca incapacitation, basically worrying to the point of you know making yourself ill about these things that you need? When if you are seeking God's will and His direction first in your life, then God will see to it that the things that you need are provided. And what made me think of that was uh, a song that my sister was playing on the piano. Uh, that I haven't heard in, in a number of years. Um, it's an old hymn by the name by the name of uh, His Eyes on the Sparrow. I'm sure a lot of you have heard it. Uh, you may even <laughs> may even know the words. I didn't, I wasn't familiar with all the words other than uh, basically the chorus. Uh, but that song is speaking is taken basically from this passage. God cares about even the smallest things. You know how much more is He going to care for us? And when we're seeking Him and putting him as our first priority, that he will make sure that we are taken care of. And uh, like I said, I didn't know how I'd respond at the, at the memorial service, um, but listening to that hymn and a couple of others as my sister played them, um, I really started getting choked up. And uh, even though I didn't know my uncle as well as I should have or could have, uh, the messages I could remember from the words of those, those songs really touched my heart. And especially um, uh, his eyes on the sparrow. Uh, 
that's all I've always thought of that as a very beautiful song um, our church we don't sing hymns very much uh, a little bit here and there uh, we, in the more contemporary style of praise music um, but that is one of those uh, one of those hymns that I've I've always loved it's just a beautiful beautiful melody and um, a beautiful message to the song um, talking about why should we be discouraged um, you know, why should I be discouraged why should the shadows come why should my heart be lonely and long for heaven and home when Jesus is my portion my constant friend is he his eye is on the sparrow and I know he watches me his eye is on the sparrow and I know that he watches me and I sing because I'm happy and I sing because I'm free oh his eye is on the sparrow and I know that he watches me I know that God takes care of me even the times when you know I'm tempted to to uh, kind of give up waiting on God and the timing that he has for the things um, you know the major problems that I have that occur in my life we all have those and sometimes I just get tired of waiting you know waiting for God to answer the answer that I want and in my timing but he has his own timing and uh, learning to trust him that's the thing that is patience uh, patience is not just <laughs> in um, the passage of time waiting for something to happen it's about your attitude waiting patiently for something to happen it means trusting God trusting for Christ to to take care of us when when things are beyond our control and beyond when we can see any light at the end of the tunnel you know Christ is still there still taking care of us still providing for us we are so blessed in America. Uh, I know other places of the world are not, and that's that's part of the reason we're given the command as Christians to go out. Is that yes, God provides, but He also wants to do it through us to those people who are less fortunate to us, the the homeless uh, and so forth in in our country, as well as overseas, the countries you know of starving people and. Uh, that's part of our commission. Jesus was, told us to go and to make disciples and uh, and teach everyone about him and his love for them. And, you know, what better way than to provide someone for their physical needs. Um, and God uses us, uses other people uh, to provide for us. Not everything God does for us is miraculous. You know, we pray for financial uh, financial blessings, but sometimes God doesn't, bless you with a pile of money on your doorstep he blesses you with a job so you can work for it and so God works in indirect ways like that a lot of times but just keep in mind that God cares even enough to make sure that the that the animals and the birds are fed how much more does he care about you and not just that you're fed but that you know him and that you can spend eternity with him in heaven you know how how much how much more love can there be than that 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 Christ would give his life to pay for our sins so that we could uh, be with him uh, in eternity anyway that's one of the things that was on my mind this week and uh, well that's the main thing uh, there's a number of other things but uh, uh, that was just something I wanted to share because that's what's prevalent on my mind this week God cares for us he takes care of us sometimes directly supernaturally sometimes through other people so when God is prompting you to help someone let him use you. You know, do what he asks you to do. If he's asking you to say a kind word to somebody, even just to pray with somebody who is discouraged, or even to provide uh, something for some financial need they have, you know, do that. We are God's hands and feet. We are the practical expression 
of God's love. All right. God bless y'all, and I'll see y'all later.